Yo, 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 what's up, peeps? How y'all doing? Welcome back to Minecraft Through the Ages, and today we are on Minecraft Beta 1.3, the PC Gamer demo. So this was a demo released by PC Gamer for players to kind of play Minecraft and try out the game. So you can see the first day dawns. This demo will last for five in-game days or about one hour and 40 minutes of real time. Tells you how to move, how to use the mouse to look around, to jump, and to open the inventory. And also, the inventory button has been switched. Uh, it does not seem like it works. It just seems like it uh, takes us over to the PC Gamer page. So, sadly, it doesn't work. So, we'll just keep clicking the uh, continue play button. And have some stuff. The PC Gamer, right click to open. All right, there we go. We got a worn out pick, some torches, some food, good stuff. Interestingly, we have a stack of three compass. Not not too sure what that's about, but we got that. So as far as I know, this is just normal beta 1.3. All right, well. Let's see what we can find here. I know that there is a little secret. I think it's over here somewhere. I might be wrong. Oh, there it is. Little secret chest with some gunpowder. And let's go see if we can find the other chest. So this world is actually interesting. It uses the glacier seed, which was a pretty popular seed back in the day. Let's go ahead and take this chest with us, too. Alright, let's see if we can find a cow, because cows actually have a unique little texture in this version, or in this demo. So I'm going to walk around and see if I can find a cow and a sheep so we can skip through some days. So the way the demo works is you have five days, and basically on each day it gives you like some tips on how to play the game. So we'll... We'll go over those whenever they appear. But for now, I think our main objective is just to get a bed so we can speed things up and to find a cow. Oh, and there's a sheep. A very happy sheep. He's very bouncy. <laughs> and there's another sheep. And another one. So I don't think we can actually make a bed with different colored wool. I don't think we can do that. I'm going to try though. Actually, no, I think we can. Yeah, because there's only one type of bed texture now, I remember. Okay, so we got a bed. Objective one done. Now we need to find a cow. Hey, oh, hey. Hey, yo. <laughs> He's very happy to see us. So they have this cool little... PC gamer texture on him. Very happy. Look at his little cow horns and his little udders. He's just bouncing for joy. I'm sorry, my friend. No, he didn't actually drop anything. <laughs> and here's some pumpkins. Take some of those. Uh, there's a few other interesting things in this version. I don't know if I mentioned it yet or not, but you can't can't press F3 to open the debug screen. I'm trying right now. Uh, F8 doesn't do like the cinematic camera thingy. And Shift F2 doesn't take huge screenshots. It just takes normal ones. Yeah, this looks like a good place. We're up on Cow Mountain. <laughs> I think I might... Mm, I don't know. I'm going to see if I can make it over there real quick. Oh, that's an interesting little uh, area right here. It's like a little floating island. Actually generated. Oh, wow. I don't know why the iron axe just one shot that zombie. There we are. Up on the little island. Alright, I'd say that's a pretty good view. I'm going to build a little tiny house up here. And there we go. My house. It's so beautiful. 
the dirt roof really really adds to the atmosphere. So I'm going to wait right here. I'm gonna go ahead and torch up this area so nothing bad happens. But I'm gonna wait right here until the next pop-ups come and we'll see what they say. All right, so here is the next pop-up. It says, the second day dawns. To be able to mine rock or minerals, you need to craft a pickaxe. To do that, you need to craft a workbench. To craft something, try to draw the item in the crafting area in your inventory or on a workbench using the correct resources. A workbench is four blocks of wood. And then for further hints and spoilers, it gives the old Minecraft wiki link. And your options here are purchase now or continue playing. So I'm going to purchase the game. And sadly, trying to purchase the game takes you to a 404. <laughs> um, so this page is no longer found. Okay. So now we just wait until the next day. Ooh. Oh, interesting. The uh, skybox like unrenders whenever you open the inventory. That's definitely interesting. Also, there's another cool bug in this version. If you start mining a block and hold left click and then open your inventory and close it, you can uh, break stuff without, without swinging your pickaxe. Works with your hands too. Alright, let's -a go. Alright, and here is the third day prompt. So, when you purchase the game, you will be able to keep playing this world, keep everything you built, and all your items. You can restart the demo at any time from the main menu, but you can only have one world active at a time. So doing so will reset your progress. Alright, well, on to the next day. Alright, the fourth day. So, whenever the time r has run out, you will still be able to walk around and look at the world, but you won't be able to interact with the world. So hurry up and build the best base you can. There are only two more days remaining. You can press F1 to toggle the GUI and F2 to take a screenshot. Well, let's try that. There we go. Look at that nice cinematic view. Alright, well, let's see what the uh, next day has in store for us. Alright, the fifth day dawns. The final day has dawned and the demo is about to expire. In the full version of the game, you can play multiplayer with your friends, create your own custom player texture, have multiple saves on each new world, it's randomly generated and unique, play for more than five days. I think we're okay, we'll keep playing with the demo. So, ah, oh, I'm being attacked. Get out of here. There we go. I think there's another spider around here somewhere. Don't know where though. But let's go ahead and wait until the next day. A little hungry. And here we are. Three, two, one. Ah, there it is. The demo is over, day six. Buy the full version of Minecraft to continue playing this world. Here's what other players have made. And it goes through some screenshots here. These are actually screenshots that Notch got from a Reddit post. He made a post asking for some screenshots of what players built. And they sent him this, and there's a lot of really cool stuff here. I like it a lot. And that is the PC Gamer Demo. So we can continue playing, but we won't be able to, well, we shouldn't be able to build and stuff. That might be changed because of the beta craft launcher. I'm not exactly sure. But I can show off one more cool thing. Oh, there it is. Well, we learned that creepers can still blow stuff up. <laughs> Uh, so it says in chat, the demo has expired, so please start a new world. So now, we can't break anything, and I don't think we can 
attack anything. Yeah. Uh, one thing I did want to show off is you can actually like ride in boats and stuff, but I forgot to place a boat. So, you just have to trust me on that one. <laughs> but let's go ahead and get back to our world. Alright, we are now in beta 1.4. This version was released on April Fools, but it's an actual update. And hey, we actually have the demo world here. It's cool. So, if we go into our world, we are now in beta 1.4. Oh man. So I did some changes. Uh, I built a house, re rebuilt the house, and upgraded it, made it look really cool, in my opinion. Uh, and I added a ladder here. Ladders are really, really, really glitchy at uh, like 12 million blocks out. <laughs> uh, it does work, but it's it's really glitchy. But we can go check out the house real quick. Ah, man, this is rough. I'm sorry. Uh, so you can go in here. Check out the inside. Got a little front door. I'm going to put a... My idea is to put a little green wool right here to be like a welcome mat. But we can go upstairs. So right up here upstairs, we have a little balcony with some chairs and a little bedroom. Uh, if I start moving around, you can see the uh, the signs move. Nothing else does unless I move far enough. So it's it's a little disorienting. <laughs> but if we go check it out, we got a little bedroom here. Uh, this model of house was actually inspired by a my favorite world save it was a save on the seed gargamel that i played whenever i was young and i really like it it has a special place in my heart so that's what this is but i say we go and try to find one of the items that was added into this version Alright, so we're actually on the title, because one of the things that's changed was the logo here. The old logo was just like the blocks, like built into a kind of Minecraft word, but now it's actually got like the Minecraft font with the little creeper face on the A, so I think that's very cool. So I'm up here on top of the far lands right now. Uh, generating some new chunks, so it is getting very, very, very laggy, very quick. I'm looking for a very specific item, though. So I might have to save and quit here and reload the world real quick. There we go. Somewhere in one of these pits should be a new item I'm looking for. And actually, let me just create a new world real quick to see if it will generate. And we'll go into Gargamel because I love I love using this seed. Starting out here in the middle of pitch black, probably won't see anything on YouTube because old old Minecraft is very very dark. But we come up here into the light, and bam! Look at that. That's beautiful. And sorry if y'all hear stomping above me. People are wearing their elephant shoes upstairs. Ah, <laughs> oh, there it is. Oh, I finally found one. Holy smokes. That took forever. <laughs> uh, Alright, so this is what I've been looking for. Hold up. We gotta save and quit again. Where'd I, where'd I go? There we are. There we are. Hey, we got three in a row. Holy moly. Okay. So these little chests right here were added in April 1st. They are unbreakable except by explosions. So maybe we'll try and do that real quick. Let me add some torches around and save and quit again real quick. Alright, so let's try and get a creeper to blow it up. Oh. oh, there we go. Nice. That's exactly what I wanted. Ah, hey, we actually got it in our inventory. A locked chest. Yeah, that's sick. Okay. 
So these are locked chests. They were added in the April Fool's update. And when you right click them, this is what pops up. So it's the Steve Co. Supply Crate. You need a Steve Co. Supply Crate key to open this. You can pick one up at the Minecraft store. So if we were to click this go to store button, it would bring us to a 404 page on the Minecraft website. But this is what the website would have looked like. So whenever you would click to go there, it would go to a website that kind of looked like this. Uh, technically it was this. This is a, a Wayback Machine archived version of the website. But there's no images. So we'll go back here. This is kind of what it would look like. And you could add stuff to your cart. And they all had like kind of humor. So it was, it was a joke from TF2 pretty much. Because TF2 had added crates that you could only open with keys to get hats and stuff. And as you can see there's some funny stuff. There's a miner's helmet. A name change. Creeper saddle. A secret griefer identity enlargement pill <laughs> and a response from support which was $494 so basically this is what it looked like on April 1st you could also click it uh, after April's 1st this is it would have like an April Fool's thing going across the screen which would look like this and there was a funny little joke if you added more than $10,000 worth of items uh, it would start like flashing the screen everywhere, all kinds of colors. Um, the version we're playing actually doesn't have that. So he updated, Notch updated it to add a seizure warning for, you know, to give people a heads up if they are sensitive to that kind of stuff. So that's what it was uh, like. Alright, it's getting dangerous down here in the far lands. Let's head back to the house. So another thing that was changed, or I guess not really changed, but with the April Fool's thing, is whenever you would check out, you would get like a Velociraptor jump scare. And then after April Fool's was done, whenever you would load the page, it would play a, a MIDI version of Rick Astley's Never Gonna Give You Up. So Notch did a little trolling. He, uh, he Rick rolled us. <laughs> All right. It is now daytime, and let's go check out some few things that were changed. Let me see if I can find. I might need to go find some sheep and stuff. Ah, well, there we are. You can see the one of the new changes right here. Wolves are added to the game. <laughs> Sadly, I don't have any bones right now. Uh, let me go see if I can find some bones laying around. Oh, well, there's a bone. I just saw some skeletons burning, but I only see one bone. Oh, there's some skeletons burning over there. Perfect. Let's go get their bones. Alright, we got five bones. That should be enough to tame a wolf. So I want to definitely tame our first wolf here, since this is the first version they were added. I think that would be really, really cool. Oh, some more bones. This chicken. Why you got bones here, chicken? I don't trust that chicken. All right, I believe the wolves were down here. And they're not here anymore. Hmm. Interesting. Another thing that was changed was... Cocoa beans were added to dungeon chests, so if we do find a dungeon somewhere, we need to check that out, because they added cookies in this version. <laughs> so I would like to make some cookies, if possible, but that might have to wait, because dungeons are pretty hard to find, and, oh, there we go, there's some wolves, and it's pretty, pretty hard to navigate out here in the far lands. Hey, the second try. There we go. Let's see if we can get two wolves. I like I like this one. He's bouncy. The first try. It was meant to be. Let's see. Can we go for three? 
I on the last bone. <laughs> Alright, we got three friends now. Let's go take him home. Alright. Will they attack sheep? Yep, they sure do. <laughs> they're wild, they're vicious. Get this pig. Look at him go. <laughs> Alright, come here you little rascals. Let's have you sit here. All oh, y'all need to sit down. There we go. Whew. Disorienting. So one other really nice thing they added in this update is if you are climbing a ladder, so like this one right here, and you hold shift, you can actually just hang in the air. Which was not how it worked before. They made it so that wheat will grow fast now. And I actually want to get some water in that little pond there. Let me see, where did I put the ladder here? There it is. So I'm going to go get some water and bring it up here. Oop, that hurt. Now it looks like we can actually just get water from right here. So let's go ahead and head down here. We'll grab a bucket of water and we will bring it back. So sheep were changed as well. Sheep can spawn with brown or pink wool now. So if we find a pink sheep, that would be awesome. But the odds of that are really, really, really low. Oh, oh. hold up. There we go. It's a little difficult to traverse the area around here. That is not surprising though. So let's put some water down here and go get one more bucket. Oh, well, that hurt. Another thing that was changed was if you can't place a block, your arm no longer swings when you try to place it. And they made it so that slimes were spawning client side multiplayer. That was fixed. Got these blocks real quick. They also fixed, or I guess added uh, GUI scaling so you can change the scale of the GUI in the options um, not these options though you actually have to go to the folder and change the document they also updated it so that servers can change the seed of a world in the server properties file and they made it so oh there's a lot of sheep here if I punch these, will my wolves... Nope, they will not attack. Cool. There we go. Okay, so I actually need this wool. Uh, I'm just going to place one right there for now. Makes my life a lot easier. And they fixed a bug where zombies and spiders weren't able to hit you in certain situations, but that has been fixed. So I think that's all for this version, I believe. Go ahead and shut the door, just to be safe. Now let's put our blocks up. I like that we got a lock chest, that is cool. I don't know if that's going to cause any problems in the future. I hope not, but that is really cool. Alright, and I think that's it. It is getting nice and sunsetty. Let's go check out the sunset here. Actually, should be able to take this ladder. There we go. Oh! <laughs> oh no. My legs. Let's try that again. There we go. Look at that beautiful sunset in the far lands. <laughs> this place is crazy. Alright. Let's go ahead and hit the hay before bad stuff starts happening. Ah. Home sweet home. Alright, and let's go check out the next version. But I might actually call it here because I don't want this episode to be too long. The I'm going to go ahead and switch to the next version of 1.4. because So in this version, they implemented a lot of the stuff to have achievements and statistics. But it's not actually in the game. 
And one of the things that is tracked is some code that tracks how far you've walked. That is removed in the next version, and that was it. That's all that was removed. So we're going to switch to that just to say we've been in every version, and then call it there. All right, we are in the next version of beta 1.4 with the removed debug code. Not too much to say here, so I'm just going to do a little crafting here. There we go. Got some signs. I want to add a sign right here. Home sweet home. <laughs> there we go. Nice. What do y'all think about that? They think it's awesome. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and hop on to beta 1.4 underscore 1 because that also just changed like one thing. Alright, we are in beta 1.4 underscore 01. And in this version, they really only, they fixed the beds. I actually made them work as a respawn point. So I will need to go to sleep sometime tonight probably. Just to make sure I respawn here and not... 12 million blocks away with no way to get back <laughs> and they tried to remove the lock chest so let's check that out still there but if you place it down it will eventually disappear so I don't know if the ones that we have placed in the world will disappear probably gonna try and not load those trunks just to see if we can preserve them but that was all that was changed in this version, so I think we're going to save beta 1.5 for the next video, and I will see y'all next time. Let's go up here. Oh yeah, I never did finish this, hold up. Alright, there we go. Now we've got a nice little pool here. I want to... Add some sugar cane to the area, I think that'd be really cool. But I don't think we have any. No, we don't. So next adventure might be gonna go get some sugar cane. Alright, peeps. Well, I will see y'all in the next one. Here's a nice little view of the house. <laughs> I think this is gonna be a really cool area once I get some sugar cane growing up there. And maybe do some decoration around here. I think this is going to be really sick. But for now, I will see y'all. Oh, can't see me. <laughs> Too high up in the world. Ah, uh, well, at least we have a quick way down now. There we go. Alright, I will see y'all in the next one. Alright, peeps. Bye-bye. Take care of yourself. Spread some love.